Hi guys, this is just a quick video showing you the um, Pulsar P1, which was the world's first ever LED digital watch. It was released in uh, April of 1972. Um, it was going to be released on the 6th of May 1970, um, but they didn't have it ready. So in uh, the 6th of May, they had the uh, the prototype and apparently they only made five of the Hamilton prototypes which never went to market so it was about two years later until the actual P1 was ready to be released to the public so they made 400 in 18 karat gold of the P1 units now there's rumors that there was another 30 or 50 in uh, gold plate salesman's p1s on leather bands uh, apparently there was a few made in 14 karat gold of the p1 um, but we believe that they actually made 400 units so this was in 1972 at a price of two thousand one hundred dollars so i guess people can work out the currency calculator what two thousand one hundred dollars converts to in 2020 and what that amount would be worth today. I'm guessing it's probably about £30,000. I think I looked up before, but I don't know exactly how true it is. But So yeah, just to get to the point, this is the Pulsar P1. The outer box is, it looks similar to the, to the P2s and, and the regular Pulsars that come out soon after. But the P1 outer box is, it's like a foil silver and it has the time computer solid state around around the outer box so the other regular p2 boxes didn't come like this you'll always know an outer box of a p1 because of the silver foil effect and with a logo around the side so we believe there's about 50 pulsars or more known since uh, records began but i believe there's probably 50 or 55 that have, have surfaced probably a lot less than that in the inner boxes and with the outer box so to have this um, in the outer box complete is pretty special just in the background now this is a pulsar press kit that the um, that was given out at the meeting in 1972 which just shows the module so the original module was a 25 integrated circuit chip that broke down basically so almost all of the p1s were sent back to pulsar and they were uh, reinstalled with the p2 module which you'll find in the p2s of today so i believe there's a couple of original 25 chips still out there i believe one was, is partially working so uh yeah they're difficult to find but so this is just the outer box i'll just open up if you once you open the box it comes with a chamois lever which has got the pulsar time computer embossed on the chamois and then the actual watch comes in a silver a silver box which is quite a nice i don't think it always fits the actual watch itself but I thought, you know, a brown box would have suited the 18 karat gold a lot better, but that's the actual inner box. This particular inner box is almost mint condition, so for a watch that's nearly 50 years old is pretty spectacular. And there we go, that's the that's the P1. This one has the light sensor below. And the synthetic sapphire crystal is a, is really beautiful if you catch it in the light the correct way it gives a purple glow the crystal inside is lined with like a foil that gives it the nice reflective look um, so yeah the inner box is it looks similar to the p2 boxes uh, made by arrow i believe um, but you can see that the p1 box has a different layout to the other boxes the way the insert is set and with the stainless steel look either side 
Um, so yeah, that's the that's the inner box of the P1. So the P1 itself is 18 karat gold, and it comes with screw back hatches for the watch, where you actually put the P magnet fits into the watch back where you unscrew the hatches to get into the batteries. Uh, and all the watches are stamped on the clasp 1971. So that's that's the year they were made. I'm, I'm sure there's P1s with 1972. Um, so yeah, if I carefully take off the, uh, take out the magnet holder and there's a small P magnet that goes that goes on onto the side of the watch and that P magnet sets the time so I won't do it but that just fits on the side of the watch and um, once you've set the time you you press the button and that activates the time so that's how the watch is set with a, with a little magnet uh, via a reed switch but there you go that's what it does it tells you the time and the seconds and that was it and that was the world's the, the new way to, to tell time in 500 years apparently if you, if you had this on your wrist back in 1972 you was a big player so but this example is in really good condition it's it's got no real scratches and it looks it looks great so yeah I'll put that back on the I'll put the magnet back in there put the magnet back in the in the clasp a lot of these magnets were lost you know back in the 70s people were setting the watch and it's quite fiddly to get the to the, the magnet back in the hold and a lot of people you know lost lost the magnets which uh, I guess are difficult to replace now to find an actual magnet of a P1 would be just as difficult to find the actual watch so um, yeah this one has also got the original receipt whoever bought it back then 18 karat gold pulsar $2,100 and they bought a stainless steel pulsar for 275 Back in uh, Fifth Avenue, Tiffany & Co, high-end stores sold the Pulsar. You can also buy P2s and, and other models, date commands you can get with the Tiffany & Co logo on the crystal. Uh, this one has also got a really rare Pulsar booklet. This would have come with the watch. And this is a difficult thing to find. It comes with the star, Pulsar stars fine tracing paper and that actual picture of the watch so like I say the original modules 25 integrated chips they had the seconds below so you'd hold the button and rather than the date going over uh, time going out the seconds would scroll underneath but they all broke down like I say so this is this is a nice booklet with information uh, like I say the magnet was used to to change the batteries on the back so so yeah that's the booklet Pulsar P1 booklet a little booklet there for your batteries power cell certificate and uh, yeah this one's got another little spare magnet in the, in the clasp a little envelope where you keep your spare magnet so hopefully I've covered most things just showing you a quick shot of the P1 in the box in and out of box I think you agree it's a, it's a thing of beauty so I just wanted to capture this on video because I I couldn't see many Pultar P1s on, on YouTube or on the net so this is a historic watch yet to be discovered I believe I think in years to come people will realize that this was a groundbreaking watch for the for the year and a very special watch in 18 karat gold uh, yeah.
Pulsar P1. Let me put it on the wrist quickly. I'll show you what it looks like on the wrist. Forgive me, I'm not, <laughs> not a professional video, but you get the idea. A thing of beauty. Okay, everyone, well, thanks for watching. Um, maybe I'll do some reviews of some of my other watches, other rare watches, but there you go. That's the 1972 Pulsar P1. Pulsar is the idea whose time has come. Pulsar, the solid-state time computer no larger than a wristwatch, has been called the first completely new way to tell time in 500 years. Press a button and Pulsar tells you the time in lighted numerals on a ruby red time screen. Accurate to within 60 seconds a year, timing will be adjusted to this tolerance if necessary.